Hello, it's Dr. Ken Gilman here. Things have been happening in the background at Psychotropical, even though some people may have felt that not much was happening. A lot of work goes on in the background. The new website will be up and running fairly soon, may even be up and running by the time you come to watch this. But at the time of recording, it's uh, nearing completion. And that has been a very great deal of work, not just on the IT side, uh, but also for me, uh, because a great deal of the information, especially on monoamine oxidase inhibitors, has been improved and updated and reformatted and so on and so on. So a lot of new stuff for people to see. Um, and I like to think it's been very considerably improved compared to how it was before. And that all relates to huge developments which have taken place behind the scenes. Firstly, with our uh, improved IT assistance from Philip, uh, but also because of two other young people who've done a great deal to improve Psychotropical, uh, Vince and Lila. They're both contributing to the material and its presentation in all sorts of ways, which I won't start to describe now, but which will be evident to many people who um, look at the material. One of the most important aspects of that is that it's brought Psychotropical up to a much higher level in terms of utilising the IT and platforms that are now available, especially with the events of the last couple of years and more and more people doing team work from home. And that's been a tremendous help for us. Also, the donations that have come into Psychotropical have given us the confidence, given me the confidence, to just go ahead and spend the money on all sorts of improvements, um, which are too numerous to mention and probably not very interesting for most people. Uh, but by golly, it's made a huge difference. And the momentous and exciting event that's occurred and is almost signed, sealed and delivered as I speak is my international expert group, uh, driven by Vince, produced a new and the first ever guidelines for the use of MAOI drugs. And the reason we've done that is because no such thing has ever existed. There has merely been rather half-hearted mention of MAOIs in guidelines for the treatment of depression and or the treatment of so-called treatment-resistant depression. Uh, I would rename treatment-resistant depression as we haven't yet given the right treatment yet depression. Um, it's a nonsensical category in my view. But lots of my views aren't mainstream. Still, people will catch up in the end, I expect. Um, so we decided on a top-down approach, which was to write guidelines of how to use these drugs. And it has been astonishingly successful. We have on board eminent persons and professors from almost every single top establishment in the UK and America, as well as a number of uh, French, German, Belgian, Dutch, Italian, and even Indian uh, eminent people who've come on board and very strongly supported it and given us great uh, encouragement and many compliments about how well it's been done. Uh, it's a, an incredible achievement on Vince's part. And because of all these new platforms we've been able to utilise, thanks to our ability to pay for things without much regard to cost, um, we've been able to do this incredibly quickly. This has gone from inception 
to completion in barely more than four weeks. I doubt if anything like that's ever been achieved. So three cheers for Lila and Vince and Philip, because it's really them that have enabled it. They it may have been built on the foundations that I've laid down, but I couldn't possibly have done it without their uh, expertise in the various different areas in which they've contributed. It has essentially been uh, accepted for publication already indeed by the time most people see this it may even be in print. Now I regard that as one of the most important things that's ever happened as far as MAOIs are concerned because it means that there is now out there an authoritative guide backed by a huge number of eminent names which is going to empower doctors to use these drugs with greater confidence knowing that what they're doing has got the backing of a majority of experts in this field, an overwhelming majority of experts in this field. Um, I, I hope you're all cheering as you listen to this. It is, it is E epochal is that a real word <laughs> let's make it a word um, it, 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 it's it's I'm speechless <laughs> it's fantastic uh, so I think that'll do more to enable patients to persuade doctors to give them MAOIs than any other single event in the 50-year history of the use of these drugs Right, so it gets better. There's more. Wait, there's more. <laughs> um, the support and enthusiasm for this has been so good. I've decided to progress, again, empowered by the donations that people have made, to go ahead with the plan I had before a couple of years ago to get the World Health Organization to put these drugs on the essential medicines list. I won't explain that in detail. You can read about it yourself if you want to. But essentially what that means is it creates, I won't say an imperative, but a, a strong reason for governments in many different countries that are related, you know, um, come under the WHO umbrella to make these avail drugs available for their population. Indeed, the WHO blurb actually says something about human rights. Uh, it's a human right to have access to effective medical treatment. So if the WHO agree that these drugs should be on the essential medicines list, and I believe our case is strong to persuade them to do that, then that will put a great deal of pressure on gov governments in many, many countries all over the world to approve these drugs for the use of their citizens. If we could achieve that, it would be by far the biggest change in matters relating to MAOI drugs that's ever occurred. I think if we succeeded in doing that, I would die a happy chappy, as they say. Achieving that is going to involve dollars, and we're going to be launching a major donations campaign. Uh, we're setting up a completely separate charitable trust, uh, quite separate from Psychotropical, um, which will have defined aims in relation to achieving this objective. And we're going to be uh, setting up mechanisms to get donations to uh, make that happen. We've already had some pledges, needless to say, from people who know what's going on. But I'm absolutely sure it'll happen. I, I'd be 98%, more than 95%, 98% sure we're going to succeed. So watch this space, as they say, because uh, we're going to be announcing uh, how people can make donations. Obviously, there'll be a bank account linked to the official trust fund, and that will pay the considerable expenses uh, of 
a researcher dedicated to carrying out this task. We're talking $100,000 in the first year probably. And it may be more than a one year project. It may, may stretch to a two year project. So we're talking about raising very substantial funds to achieve this. But I'm quite sure we will succeed. There will be another of, uh, there will be various other sort of peripheral activities related to bolstering that effort, including me making more videos to educate doctors and patients and all that sort of thing. Uh, and we'll probably do um, continuing medical education material uh, for official inclusion in the European and American uh, postgraduate educational programs. We're working on that already. And I really don't have to say much more to give people who've got a vague idea of what this sort of thing entails um, a clear idea that there's going to be a very great deal of work uh, to achieve all of this. It, it's not it's not a five minute job, but I think we're going to do it. So we're, we've appointed a full time researcher to manage this. That's Vince. Uh, and he's already achieved significant steps down that pathway. So I shall wind up my little uh, spiel there. I can't see the clock on this to see how long it's been running. Um, Thank you for listening. Uh, what more can I say? Watch this space. Goodbye for now, and I hope some of you will be able to support our uh, continuing efforts financially. Bye for now. Thank you.